From decay to a destination, there's a brand new plan in the works to revitalize this old overgrown golf course into a place everyone can enjoy. 2013 was when the last round of golf was played at the Rogel Golf Course. Since then, the course's owner, Greater Grace Temple, has seen redevelopment plans fall through, but now the city wants to step in. Larry Spruill shows us the grand plan the city has it thinks will make people very happy. Guys, this golf course was thriving back in the day, but over time it turned into this. But now there are plans to revitalize this area to benefit both the city and the community. Uh, a new park here uh, that's for the uh, active program park um, uh, for the neighborhood um, that will connect to, again, some of the natural features. Those are just some of the plans Arthur Jemison with the Housing and Revitalization Department says are in the making for the former Rogel Golf Course. This area of land is about 120 acres and sits in northwest Detroit, right at the southwest corner of the intersection of Lasher and Seven Mile Road. The golf course was closed in 2013 and was later bought by the Greater Temple Church just around the corner. We thought it would be a cemetery, a nice memorial park, right. uh, but sometimes waiting is worth the wait. Tuesday, both Bishop Charles Ellis and the Housing and Revitalization Department met at the land, announcing possible plans for the land. They recently submitted a request to city council to purchase the land for $1.94 million. It's a deal Jemison says will benefit both the city and neighborhood. This acquisition uh, and the development that will come later are going to enable all those things um, and, and be a key part of the Northwest Grand River plan coming to fruition. Jemison tells me another opportunity for the land is to implement green stormwater infrastructure to utilize stormwater and cut down on flooding in this neighborhood. All right, so here's what's next. City Council will have to vote on this plan. If that plan is approved, then the development plan will be finalized. Reporting live tonight, Larry Sproul, Local 4. Yeah, still a lot of ifs, Larry, but uh, if these all go through, is there a building timeline when council makes a decision? Yeah, Jason, well, Jimison tells me if everything goes as planned, they will start building on the site by the end of the next quarter. Been a long time. We'll be keeping an eye on it. All right, Larry, thanks.